Hi, welcome to the Happiest Places Home Kitchen. I'm Suzanne, and I'm helping you make over a classic Italian recipe today, spaghetti and meatballs. I hope you love it. I'm going to explore the ingredients with you before we get started to show you what we switched up to make them low fat, low cholesterol, and lower sodium. Here we go. First of all, our beef is 93% non-fat. We have a pound of beef here. We also have egg beaters. There's an egg in the recipe for meatballs typically to bind it together. We're making it happen with egg beaters today. 647 by Schmidt is a great bread to lower your sodium and your calories in any recipe. We have Horizon fat-free milk. It has that texture of real milk, but you're getting the fat taken out. And I like this one and Skim Plus fat-free milk for recipes. I have some foil back here, which those were standing on. I'm going to put my meatballs on top of the foil so we don't have as much cleanup. Next, we have parsley. I'm using ground parsley today. We're using black pepper and onion powder minced garlic, and then a reduced fat Parmesan cheese. I'm going to mix my meatballs in this low profile bowl so that you can see what I'm doing. I also have my air fryer here. It's the Drew Barrymore Beautiful line of appliances. I love this thing, I just got it recently. So we're using that to try to make sure that we're cutting a little more of the fat. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, we are going to soak three pieces of the 647 bread in a half cup of the fat-free milk. So we're just gonna cover. I cut them into like four pieces each, about, so that we can tear them apart more easily. We're doing this instead of breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs often, oh look, we have an extra crust over here. Breadcrumbs uh, oftentimes have a lot of sodium in them. So we're doing much better by doing this. So they're soaking. The next thing that we're working on is putting the rest of these ingredients in with the meat, okay? Pop the meat on top of this. We're doing a quarter cup of egg beaters, a half teaspoon of onion powder. Make sure it's not onion salt. A half teaspoon of minced garlic. That equals one garlic clove. And a half teaspoon of black pepper. Here we have two tablespoons each of parsley and the reduced fat Parmesan cheese. Now we will be rolling our meatballs. To do this, the authentic way of doing it is with your hands, and then I'm going to put our meatballs on this tray. I have food safe gloves here. I have some backups. <laughs> These are for a huge man, I think, because they're so big, so hopefully they won't fall apart on me in front of you. Okay, let's just work it. <laughs> Be able to see what I'm doing here. This smells great. They're not even cooked and it smells of meatball. You can use turkey meat in your meatballs, and I'll make another recipe with oh, we're stuck. <laughs> Come on, you. I'm going to make another recipe with turkey meat. Uh, at a different time. We'll alter the ingredients a little bit. The thing about turkey meatballs is I think you can get, first of all, you can get lower fat turkey than this 93% uh, lean beef. Uh, but the, it's the color. It's a very unappetizing color sometimes. But if they're covered in a low sodium sauce, you're fine. I'm also going to make uh, a ground turkey meatloaf at some point shortly. I've been working on that, getting the flavors right. There are some very high sodium things that can go into meatloaf. So I'm 
just adjusting and testing. All right, we're really getting there. I might switch my gloves at this point because they're just getting so sticky. Hold, please. If you don't have food safe gloves in your kitchen, you could use a brand new pair of rubber gloves, but you can use your hands. Just make sure that you um, are really careful washing them completely and under your nails. I think we're there, but just to be 100% certain, I'm going to do a few more turns, if you can put up with that. How fun. Okay. I'm using an ice cream scooper. Doing this, it's basically three tablespoons per meatball. So it's like a heaping ice cream scoop makes three tablespoons. Okay, like that. So we have 11 meatballs here, and 11 will fit into the air fryer all in one batch, which is wonderful. So let's get started on that. We have our air fryer here, we're preparing it. I'm going to put olive oil spray in the bottom, up the sides a little too maybe. Let's heat up the air fryer. I'm going to heat it up to 390 degrees, and we'll just run it for five minutes. so that we can just preheat. Our air fryer is preheated. I'm gonna put the meatballs in now. You can hear a little sizzle when that goes in there. I'll show you my arrangement when I'm done. Here's the arrangement of our 11 meatballs. Trying to space them out, give them room to cook. Okay, we're going to get these in the air fryer. We're setting to air fryer, temperature 390, and we're going to set this for 15 minutes. We're turning them halfway through. I'm heating up some pasta to go with the meatballs. I've chosen whole wheat pasta today thin spaghetti. And then I have my trusty low sodium sauce. Today I'm using the Victoria. 
and I asked my husband which flavor he wanted and he chose tomato basil so that's what we're going with so I'm going to heat the water for the pasta over here and I'll just simmer the sauce after a little while so that we're ready when the time comes We've reached eight minutes, almost seven. I'm going to hit pause and I'll take our meatballs out and flip them. Turn this so that you can see better. Doing a little flip. So we're all flipped. We're just putting it back in our air fryer. What's nice about this air fryer is when you put it on pause, it just starts right back up where it was. Good air fryer. As you can see, the meatballs are getting close to being done. And we have the pasta going over on the stove and the sauce heating up as well. Our meatballs are done. Let's check the internal temperature. We need to get it to 165. 166, beautiful. Okay, our meatballs are all finished and I'm just going to uh, plate them and keep them warm with some aluminum foil until we have everything finished. We've got our half cup of pasta. Put a little bit of this low sodium sauce on, half a cup. What A half cup goes a long way, doesn't it? So what a beautiful heart healthy meal. This is normally an extravagance for heart patients but here you can do it and not have any regrets. Dinner's ready.